What is up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Coming at you very quickly with Supreme Spring Summer 23, week six. This week we have an absolute banger and uh, it is Supreme Undercover. So this week, uh, I might sound less exciting as I, as I would be. I mean, for the past few weeks, we've had um, a few collaborations. So obviously we had the TNF, which it was slight disappointment. I didn't even wanted to get any i mean in terms of the nuptsies and pullovers i think there were a lot of like nicer piece from um the supreme for like the own brand like from lookbook but in terms of like collaborations i'm yet to see like one that i really really like um but it may happen just in this drop i think it uh some of the items does you know really rank up pretty high from my um my list and i would be potentially trying to cop something from um, a personal so as you might have seen a a few preview photos and things uh, on instagram uh, we're going to quickly talk through that as well so let's dive right in so bobblehead we have this little baseball uh, i think it's like an incense uh holder or like it's not an incense holder sorry it's uh, it's just like basically a collectibles hand uh, painted and it's uh, in print logo which is pretty nice in details comes with two different colors um, it's probably a nice kind of collectible piece to have uh, personally it wasn't, isn't something on my list that I wanted to uh, go for so um, but it's really nice to see it in person I think they will cost quite a bit uh, I'd be slightly predicting or like just under 150 pounds i think if it doesn't come with a set uh, if it's coming with a set then it'll probably be like 250 200 ish i think and uh, so like 120 240 ish for um for one if it does come with a set it doesn't say at this point but yeah moving on uh undercovers so this apparently this face tea just got a, quite a bit of um vault on this and i see kind of why it is um i think it's quite a simple yet yeah, kind of got, got into the point of and um, the undercover because they have the the sup logo at the front in like very big print but then you have like the underscore and the u which kind of represents undercover so like supreme undercover if you know it you know it kind of thing um but the spell out is actually in blue color which I kind of refer to the some of the previous collaboration that Supreme did with Undercover, and a lot of, lot of them are with with these kind of blue colors as well, and especially with like not not just Supreme but like the Nike Undercover, uh, Dawnbreaker, and the other sneakers are kind of tied into this color. So I wonder if this is one of the kind of like main color of or like a theme color for Undercover or something. I'm personally not a I'm not like a a big fan of undercover so i haven't looked into kind of like the colors maybe, maybe that is a scheme let me know in the comments if you if you if you know the brand you know undercover if that's the reason why they use blue on this maybe perhaps i don't know which is who the, who this guy or like probably yeah male or female is in his print but um it's the most kind of like wanted item at this point um but a lot of the t-shirts that we're going to cover we're going to talk about is only coming in two colors so only black and white print doesn't change much but two colors only and um, also have the chain sepal as well i'm not going to click into it but it's again one of those kind of like sepal tradition but this time comes with the chain and only one color which is like a metallic silver on this so um and i predict this would be quite slightly expensive than the usual one because i think the chain worth a lot of money uh, <laughs> set that but there is no i can't see any kind of supreme embroidered print on the chain itself so i don't know why but um so it'd probably be like 50 60 pounds i think the last one that i saw the kind of regular supreme one was like like 40 45 ish so i think this one might be slightly higher being there's like an add-on to um to this example so probably a bit more expensive um but yeah moving on we have the undercover anti rug which depending on what size it is i think the design are pretty unique uh, and you will see a, a hoodie in this print later on when we go through the list but 
this is kind of like a unique piece. I think the kind of whole, the whole theme of this undercover collaboration is with anti you, which is like the slogan of it. So I'm guessing kind of like this logo is kind of coming from the, the whole kind of theme of this collaboration. And depending on the size of the rug, you know, usually with like bigger rugs in Supreme, with like Supreme collaboration, they are quite expensive. So it can get up to like two, 300 pounds. Or if it's like a smaller one, it can be like around a hundred, but it definitely won't be cheap if it's like over like a certain size, if it's pretty big. And if it's like a floor rug, um, and I'm kind of presuming this is because of the length, um, this would be quite expensive. So we're looking at like two to 300 pounds on this at least. So it's one to think about because I can't see any um, supreme kind of obvious branding at the front, but this is the kind of vibe that they're giving. Um, it's very kind of like in within the kind of design. So uh, again, two more t-shirts that we have from there. So the Luton T, which is kind of it gives me an Asian kind of vintage, Japanese vintage vibe. Uh, you get the print and then obviously you have like little, very little undercover Supreme 2023. So with the previous one, I think that was 2016, I think it was. Um, so that has the same kind of year at the end. I don't know who these persons are, but basically, and the second t-shirt of this, second one on the list, 355 volt versus 700 so that's half of that we also have this one of my favorite um out of like all of the t-shirts and i think all the items as well uh is this tack is it tack tea yeah so undercover tack tea coming with two colors again black and white um similar undercover logo on their top and then it says a pieces esu or aes in that kind of middle bit so no goods no masters uh, and there isn't a picture of the back so i'm assuming this could be just just the way it is in the front print there might be that supreme undercover 2023 logo embodied maybe at the like kind of the top bit of the back just near where the where the tag is but depending on that i think um this is a very much a low-key kind of print and i think i really i think the white one does really pop with the kind of black spray in the middle and you have that kind of wording spell out in the front i think it really stands out to me um so i'm thinking i mean in terms of t-shirts i haven't covered the prices i think for these like kind of summer summer vibey t-shirt would be like around usual 48 to 50 pounds roughly 52 pounds um i think being like in collaboration it could be 52 and that's how usually it would cost. And then in terms of, um, there's this dragon wrap top as well. It's not a shirt, it's probably a top with this tag. Um, so this would be a slightly more, but I think the Don Boy did there are pretty decent. I really like this kind of dragon vibe there, very Asian and is kind of like a culture on there representing. So, and the, the dragon print on the tan color actually really nice i think it's probably one of the best out there out of the four i think i'll go for the tan black and then white and red for me so uh yeah decent i think it's uh, it's going to be quite slightly higher with the price point we were around like 60 70 ish but i think it worth definitely worth the money um it's it's, it's a really cool top i think yeah maybe not for everyday wear but it's, it's really cool for me maybe like an event or like like a festival or something uh, pretty nice uh, flannel tee undercover again uh, this is obviously short sleeves I think these these are quite um, I don't think it's like a unique way but I, I wonder why it says builder at the front I mean the red flannel is obviously the classic then you have like this little um, grayish color black and white as well and then you have the undercover supreme logo at the bottom there uh, it also says anti and to you, I think it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, these would be like 100, 130, 40-ish, I think, with usually with like shirts, they are a little bit more, but um, 
yeah these are like kind of short sleeves as well short sleeves so yeah maybe so i think this was from the preview photo if i'm not mistaken uh the the kind of zip kind of opening is where you kind of get an extra piece of um shirt overlay for that i think the blue one definitely looks best because um the i think the green color really kind of like make a contrast with the like color contrast between the jeans and the shirt and obviously the logo really stands out from there being um a white color it's quite a unique one because you get to um you get to actually have like a, a zip on kind of thing so you don't have to but i i mean we can easily achieve this by just wrapping a shirt around like a flannel shirt or something so um but this is supreme and undercover so you also get on the 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 tack um and the jeans it says like the uh, world famous supreme so it's kind of like a little bit of extra you get from this collaboration there and um, yeah i do think the blue is probably the best and again you have that the same print as the uh the flannel shirt that we got from there as well so let's build it there um yeah i think these would be a very nice piece to kind of complement with your the flannel if you're thinking to get in one i think this jeans going to be pretty fire i think especially the blue one's going to sell out pretty quick and in terms of retail i think it would be around like 180 200 ish as well and um, being like a convertible like an extra layer sort of jeans and um, it does it's going to cost quite a bit in there uh, rather than the usual jeans that we have and um, this is probably the only back that we are getting from uh these collaborations i can't recall if there is a if they did ever release like an undercover supreme back ever before um but this is kind of like the only bags that we're getting from this drop which is like a waist back with like six different individuals back that you get from it um different sizes you can put different things in that and only there's like kind of little big ones there you get with the uh, supreme undercover tack as well two colors but i do think the tan looks a bit better than the uh the other camel one uh i think these back would be i don't know i don't know how we can i mean for waist backs like this they're usually not too expensive but this being like an undercover collaboration i think it would be slightly higher than usual so i'm guessing it would be around 80 to 70 to 80 pounds i think uh cherries five panels not yet to cover this is a really cool piece but for sure this is going to be expensive it's a trench puffer jacket coat which is like like, like a two-in-one so you basically can wear them separately or you can kind of combine them and wear them together i don't know how heavy they could this could be because puffer jackets are usually not that heavy but you're putting a essentially a quite a thick trench coat as well um, on top of that so it's like an extra layer of this i think this looks pretty nice and i think it's also something you could replicate with a trench coat and a puffer jacket in you know kind of a similar layer but this has obviously been like designed for a reason and i think it kind of like sits in pretty well because the layer is thinner than a usual puffer jacket it's not that puffer if it makes sense but so it kind of like sits quite nicely i don't know if there's like uh velcro tapes between this to attach to attach onto the trench coat is that like an extra step i can't see from the close-up but it looks like velcro to me so i don't know uh, we have to see some pictures maybe in person but you get a little nice undercover supreme logo in the front and uh, right corner oh sorry bottom left corner and you have the builder logo at the back of the puffer as well i think this is a really nice piece but I don't know it, it'll be one of those like kind of underrated ones and i think like as time as time goes and i think this will kind of raise this value over time and people would probably pay more attention to it um but when it first released it's probably one of those that you know people are not interested they don't probably won't even know they had this um trench coat trench puffer coat release uh, in this drop but um price wise i think or 500 pounds it can be because obviously you're paying a price for two you know uh, you're getting a puffer jacket and a trench coat together usually a puffer jacket puffer jacket in supreme costs about 300 pound ish like you can see it from the tnf one 
and you're getting a trench coat with this as well so it's going to be like double the price at least so you're looking at like five six hundred pounds i think it will still be reasonable um but yeah let's see how much this costs and have a guess in the comment maybe like you know guess how much this is going to cost. i think personally it's going to be like six seven hundred pounds maybe a bit more we'll see um this is probably the one and only no i like so two hoodies two you know f one out of three so this is one out of three this uh, one off three sorry one off three hoodies so um the anti which is the um, same logo as the rug you get four different colors uh, i think the i don't know how what color you call this but like the kind of bluish and the burgundy color special uh, i don't know why they didn't make a a white color instead of um having a heat like a gray color there but i do think the the kind of bluish color looks pretty you know sat out really um but the the kind of like neck size or the hood looks a bit short to me i don't know why it looks um like it's kind of like the shoulder length is longer than a usual supreme hoodie or maybe that's how kind of like undercover and supreme purchase and and this maybe in this particular hoodie the other one that we have yeah they, they look kind of pretty high shoulder length as well so i don't know why i don't know how the fitting is going to be maybe go go for a size up or something than the usual because i kind of felt like this is more uh this is smaller than the usual uh hoodie from my observation um so again with hoodie i think it's safe to say that um it is going to be around 150 60 ish with like a regular supreme hoodie it's cost that much anyway and it's a collaboration so it's going to be slightly higher than usual um we're on to this football top as well uh, pretty nice design i like all the colors but i don't really i'm not really into football so i don't know how i'm relating like relatable to how relatable i'm to this but like the white color actually i think is more stands out to me and it's you know with with this character kind of really pops with the what the white test and also the um the rest supreme logo and undercover but um at, at the front as well i'm kind of slowly losing it because this is like quite a long list to go through so i'm going to pick up a few more to run through um these kind of stoops jacket and pants cargo pants they're not gonna do well on this job for sure because there's just so many like wearable stuff that people are gonna go for especially like you know with some special items as well like the jeans the um the, the free t-shirts that they have and even like the trench puffer coats i think these these are people's focus this week for sure and this trap jacket i just don't feel like is um it doesn't really fit into this job i don't know why um it doesn't give me a you know the similar share a similar vibe to what we what we've seen before um i think the final three items we're going to cover one of it being the the zip up hoodie or sweatshirt um again it's slightly different in terms of patterns to the anti you theme that we have going on um but it's yeah again i think the you can see like the shoulder is actually longer and bigger than the usual one the drop drop shoulder. Shoulder. yeah it's actually like the drop shoulder yeah it's 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 is a weird one i don't know how sizing is going to work i i think my recommendation would be going to one like a size up in terms of the jacket and the hoodie but um pricing wise it would be yeah kind of similar to the hoodie maybe slightly more like 20 30 pounds more than the hoodie and 200 pound let's do a roughly guess rough guess um the only uh snapback or hats that we get from this is the stood six panel which i do think to be fair i think i like it like i think i i quite like the black one um yeah i think it's it's quite nice like i don't know like it's one of those kind of like at first sight i kind of felt like it's pretty good but if someone actually 
got this in store on Thursday and there's like a picture then I might see it but like from this I think it's pretty nice not gonna lie I think personal, pre personal preference it's not like it's gonna you know <laughs> have any resale on this because you can tell by the voting but the last item that I want to talk about is the puffer jacket so this is like the one and only standalone jacket and I can tell you right now this is gonna be the most expensive item of this drop and is people gonna cop it? No, I don't think so. Um, it is unique. I think it's more sitting with like a performance piece what with like maybe celebrity would wear them at like a very special occasion or like a performance or on stage. I really don't think a normal person or like an ordinary person would wear this on like a day-to-day -day kind of like, it doesn't like suit the vibe kind of. It, it is special, but it's not for every day for sure. Especially this color and with it being like puffer and you have like a stud leather sleeve this is going to be so expensive like i don't even know how how they're putting this up like who who's going to buy it? honestly who's going to buy this um honestly i don't think there's any resale on this especially if you're going to go for anything trying to avoid this unless you're going for a personal but it, it is quite unique uh I'm not gonna lie this drop is is new it's kind of for me like overall this is refreshing it is going to be slightly more expensive than the um the usual drop that we get but at least this is something that is kind of like freshen up my uh my perspective to to supreme and it's like we're kind of six weeks six weeks in into the supreme uh the spring summer drop so uh it's quite nice to see something different and I think undercover is one of those that does it does really kind of inject their element, their characteristics into the design overall. I think this looks so like kind of undercover-ish with their with the design and the the style of cut clothing that they cover this time. It's a wide, I mean, it's a wide range. But I would have I would have thought they've done like maybe like a skate deck on this because I think so many of these premium would make a nice little skate deck at least for like on like the the rug as well. Oh, it actually does say something about this drop maybe because of like you know Supreme can can see their kind of um, general sales with skate decks are dropping or like decreasing, so they might be the reason why they kind of like stop releasing so many skate deck with especially with each kind of collaborations i mean they've already got quite a lot of like skate deck from the for own brand um so that could also be the case or might they might be saving the best for you know for like a bigger collaboration with bigger brands who knows um we are seeing potentially supreme and lv 2.0 this year just fyi because of what they kind of like rumored or released late like late last year so there could be something maybe not in spring summer 23 but that it could be in fall winter this year so keep an eye out and watch the space so uh that said i think this is going to be a very long video but i appreciate if anyone watched up to this point and actually finished the whole thing uh i did ramble quite a bit but there are also a few bits at the end that I haven't covered, which I think they are less important. Sorry to say that, but I think key focus for this week, definitely try. And I think this bubble has, a, I, I don't know if it's like a, a thing for Europe or like UK. Personally, I don't think they are. I, I, it honestly is down to personal preference, but um, the, the it's kind of memorable and it's like a piece that has a bit of meaning behind it as well if i didn't cover that at the beginning which i should so supreme actually started in 1994 and it kind of like had the whole kind of spell out the years and everything up until 2023 so um quick maths so 2024 to sorry 2023 to 1994 and that is 29 years so next year is going to be supreme the 30th year supreme and it, it is going to be i think it's going to be a big one next year i'm not going to lie um but with this being like the 29th years i think yeah this is 
I don't know, like for a brand that, you know, that is 30 years and it's like obviously a street streetwear brand. Um, this might be a whole new conversation. I can make actually a new video about this. Let's not kind of roll through in details, but um, I, I see the reason why people might be going for this um, this piece and why is it so popular this, this, this week as well. So there's also a meaning, always a meaning for people uh, behind these unbranded uh, accessories. But that said, I think I'm gonna wrap this video. My final recommendation on this, or for me at least, from me, is uh, watch out for the teachers for sure. Trying to get the either the XL or double XL, doesn't matter which color because you're gonna get two options anyway. So go for the bigger size. Um, they usually have a bit more profit margin if you're looking to resell. Um, in terms of the rock, I think we're best to actually wait for the final confirmation on prices and the the sizes as well. But we might not be able to see it until the morning, the Thursday drop uh, at 11. So that's going to be um, kind of determining factor whether or not we, we are getting one. But um, I've got my eyes on the tag T, so yeah, I'm going to put my focus on that. Um, and the rest of the item, I say go for the, the blue color jeans if you are thinking of reselling. Um, all the other stuff are pretty standard. I think if you want to go for a personal, go for that. Um, the dragon wrap tee, you might get a little bit, might a bit of profit on the tan color and the black. Again, bigger size, go for the double XL, uh, maybe the flannel shirts as well, I think. Yeah few pieces that you can get a little bit of margin off but nothing too crazy for me this week uh we'll have to see the retail so hopefully we can do like a little regroup again on wednesday and then a live cop on thursday which i will definitely be doing at three o'clock so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel like this video and i shall see you guys on thursday